we'll be doing today. Uh, today we're going to simulate a uh, man down scenario where we require emergency response to come out on site. We're going to start out with a uh, air horn, do one long blast and see, they got 10 minutes I believe, we're going to do it 10 minutes and see when the ambulance shows up. Each trade partner is going to be responsible for a, an entry point and providing a clear pathway to the man down, which is going to be our intern, Braulio. So Braulio, you're the man down? I guess so. All right. Did you leave yourself enough room for an in on that? <laughs> so what we're going to do is, uh, me and Josh are going to head out to the job site. I'm going to go get in position, which is right around this area here. Um, once I'm in position, Josh is going to blow the air horn. And then once he blows that air horn, I'm going to get the paper out and hold it up. Um, the subs have already been instructed on their um, their tasks and what they need to do. So as of right now, we've got Collins Electric going to control the north gate. We have Action Mechanical going to be in charge of the south gate. And then our east entrance here is Midwest Drywall. Depending upon what area the ambulance shows up, it'll be their that trade's responsibility to direct them down into the building once they get inside. All the other trades that do not have a specified entry point to guard, they will be clearing materials in our new addition here um, and getting a clear path and direction. We're gonna have the ambulance park a little ways off from the site. Whenever they're in position, they're gonna call us. Uh, we're gonna call Josh. Josh is gonna sound the air horn. Then we're gonna call the ambulance back in a couple minutes when everyone has some time to mill about. And uh, then the ambulance will show up. And at that point, it's out of our hands. Run me through the plan real quick. You're supposed to be getting a phone call here in a few minutes from the ambulance driver saying that they're ready to be go in place. We're gonna simulate this emergency action drill with the subs out on site and uh, see how it goes. Okay. You can only come from this direction. So yeah, grab the stop sign. Don't let nobody come in. Ready. That gate's locked, so you can only come from this way. We had all gates covered. Yeah, okay. Like we had, we was over here. We got a gate down there at the other end to direct around this way. We had, we got one right here where we had guys standing at too. We had all the entrance. 
not too bad actually. You guys do pretty good. I mean, it, I usually do this at least once during my jobs projects because if if uh, God forbid if that was an actual accident or somebody had a heart attack or something like that, I mean it's camp getting them into the job site. So I just like everybody to be aware and. Uh, we are not beyond doing another one is this building changes shapes and stuff like that, you know, to do another one at some other point in time. But for the guys that uh, was involved in it, that was a good job, guys. Appreciate it, everybody. Thanks, y'all. All right, so how'd it go? It went pretty good. Um, there's a lot of noise out there, and even with all the noise, I was still able to hear the, the air horn go off. Um, as soon as I got it up, uh, within maybe 30, 40 seconds, I had someone there already and someone already calling Josh. Uh, ambulance from the time the air horn blast arrived on site after about six minutes, and then from the time they arrived on site to the time that they got to our simulated man down, it was about two minutes and 43 seconds. Um, they went into the action mechanical gate, so action got to do their thing. Very impressed with how they turned out. Everything went in order like it should have. Um, everyone was had the same idea in mind to make sure that the ambulance made it there and made it to me as quickly as possible. Um, everybody did their job and knew what they were supposed to do. Pretty successful test.